It started with a math teacher named Toru Kuman, who created the program to help his own son get prepared for college. Now, we're the largest after-school math and reading program in the world. Kuman allows students to work independently and at their own pace. We feel it's very important, you know, that we can develop the confidence in students into becoming self-learners. Hina loved gorillas. When I grow up, I want to be a graphic designer. A geneticist or a chemist. A swimmer. An author. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. I think every parent wants their child to be self-reliant and self-confident. And our program can help them be that. When Sam starts, he'll take a placement test in both math and reading. I'll also be paying attention to his concentration level, his focus, even down to minute things like his handwriting. I will use that knowledge to develop a lesson plan customized for Sam's ability. We want everything to be individualized for him so that there is no gap in his learning. Sam will be completing worksheets every single day. Worksheets will have an example that the student will follow. And from that example, the student will be able to learn the new concept that they're being introduced to. If he's ready, if he's mastered it, then we'll allow him to progress at his own pace. From the very first set of worksheets that he completes, we really want him to feel like he's succeeded. That satisfaction, you know, I did it. 32 minus two. Oh, 30. <laughs> I have been doing Kumon for almost a year now. When I first came to Kumon, my expectations were you had a tutor always hovering over you and telling you exactly what the answers were, but then I realized it isn't like that. Miss Kristen kind of wanders about, so if you really need help, you can ask her. But you really have to try to get it yourself first. When the student gets 100%, you know, that's great. If it's a 90, that's also great. Correcting errors is very important in Kumon. We really want the student to be able to identify any of their mistakes because that helps to contribute to how well they'll master the concept. There will be times when the student feels like they're struggling or things are getting a little rough or too hard. But actually, that's the point when most of our parents realize Kumon is actually working for them and that they're really being pushed to their full potential. Sometimes it takes me five or six tries to get it right. It's frustrating, but then when you get it, you like swell up with pride. It's the best feeling in the world. I try to keep in contact with my parents on a regular basis, whether it's an in-person parent conference or maybe an email or a telephone call, even if I just do a simple thumbs up outside the window of the parent waiting area. Kristen lets me know when he's had a really great day. Maybe he's really tried something brand new and done a fantastic job. But she also lets me know if he's, you know, struggling with something and gives me tips on how I can help him at home, too. I like to have my parents set up a Kumon time. You have time to, you know, take him to soccer practice, take him to school, and take him to the doctor. So it's great to have, you know, a specific time for him to do Kumon so that it becomes more of a natural day-to-day -day routine for him. And I try to do my best to make it something that we do every day. I try to set a good example so that when he's doing his Kumon work, I'm trying to do things around the house, and uh, it helps keep him on track. Originally, we wanted him to have a great foundation and to be prepared for school, but since he's been going to Kumon, we've realized that it's so much more than that. It's him having the confidence to do well not only in school, but in other areas of life, and I'm confident that that can continue on. I love my job, to be able to impact students' lives on a daily basis. Sometimes I don't even realize that I'm making a difference in a child's life until in a random moment in class, one of them comes up and hugs me, just out of the blue. That is rewarding for me. That's when you become a believer. <laughs>